Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today is the second installment in my Infinite Warfare Improving Aim Guide. And today we're going to go into details on attachments and some different attachments that you can use on different weapon tiers that will hopefully uh, help you to better your aim. So I've got them separated into two categories. I'm going to talk about submachine guns first, uh, and then we'll go into detail on the assault rifles. So first off with SMGs, the attachments that I highly recommend using are quick draw stock, foregrip, and laser sight. Now, you don't necessarily have to use all of these at one time, obviously, but each one of these attachments is something that's going to be really beneficial towards uh, helping you better your aim. And I highly recommend running through some of them and trying to find a good class setup that you like using um, and stick to it because you'll do really, really well. Quick draw and stock are absolute necessities when it comes to playing Call of Duty, especially nowadays with the new movement system. Um, I've always said this on my channel. You guys have probably heard it a million times. I stress it so much in every single video. But quick draw and stock play huge roles. Quick draw really just allows you to win a few more gunfights. It doesn't really play a big Big role on your aim just because all it does is allow you aim to allow you to aim down a little bit quicker but stock is so big and stock is such a major difference from black ops 2 just to black ops 3 because if you guys remember black ops 2 there wasn't any boost jumping it was kind of just normal boots on the ground gameplay so there wasn't too much that people could do to evade your aim maybe they could jump or drop shot but now people can do everything the game is just completely different people can boost jump 30 feet in the air they can boost slide they can do whatever so uh, stock is really really important it's going to allow you to keep your aim on target that's one of the biggest things that i see is that people run around with smgs where you're going to expect a lot of close-up gunfights and they don't have stock and if you aim down sights at someone you might be shooting at them but if they boost slide it's going to take you a whole like two seconds just to aim over you're gonna have to come out of the site and then move over uh, or it's just going to take forever as you hold down the aim button so stock is definitely a necessity if you really really want to do well and improve your aim Foregrip is a pretty obvious one. I feel like most people know about this one. Obviously, it allows you to keep your gun steadier. Um, and there's always a major difference. If you use foregrip for a while and then take it off, you'll definitely see a huge difference. Um, so I, I highly recommend using it to try to, to better your aim. Um, you know, if you use foregrip for a while and you get used to, to doing what foregrip does for you and you take it off, um, you'll, you'll be a little bit better without it. And it, it'll kind of just be in your head. That's what most of this stuff anyway is. It's just in your head. But uh, the laser sight's the last attachment that I highly recommend using. And this is not something that... I would run for a while. This is something that I would just use for specific class setups. I know a lot of people like running it to uh, fire from the hip. A lot of people need no scopes or whatever, or hip fires, whatever. And, uh, and laser sights just something that you don't see a lot of people using to actually aim down sights. But it is a cool tool that's there um, to help you improve your aim. I don't recommend using a reticle with SMGs. To me, the way I play, I, I know a lot of people are different, but when I run around with a submachine gun, I personally believe that reticles can get in the way. Now, there's only a few guns. There's a few guns in like Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2 that I could get away with using a reticle. But to me, SMGs, because you're having so many close-up gunfights, reticles just get in the way, and I don't think it's worth it. I think it just makes your aim worse. So I don't recommend using a reticle. If you're really good with it, you might as well, but that's just my opinion. Let's talk about assault rifles. Attachments that I recommend to use with assault rifles are quick draw, stock, and foregrip. Obviously, we really don't need to run a laser sight on an assault rifle, um, but I do recommend running a reticle. I just talked about quick draw and stock. Again, absolute necessities for whatever gun you're using, um, and foregrip will really help a lot with the assault rifle as well. Um, but like I said, running a reticle is extremely important with an assault rifle, depending on which one you're using. Again, there's a few guns from Black Ops 3 where I could probably get away with not using a reticle because they played somewhat of a submachine gun role. Um, but with most of the assault rifles here on Infinite Warfare, you really should run a radical. You, you'll do so much better, and you'll be able to improve your aim a lot from long distance. So anyway, guys, these are some of the tips that I have for you when it comes to using attachments in the game. I hope you guys will be able to improve your aim somewhat from watching this video. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see all you guys in the next video.